Efren Reyes, known as the magician, is presently ranked number one by the Pro Billiards Tour. Mark Jarvis has been moving up steadily and is now ranked number 12. Tonight, these two men clash in the semifinal match of the World 8-Ball Championship. Prime presents the Professional Billiards Tour World 8-Ball Championship from the Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Brought to you by Mayuchi Originals, custom choice of more top players than any other queue. And AMF Playmaster, bringing quality to the table. Hello and welcome to the Pro Billiards Tour and the World's 8-Ball Championship. Let's talk about the two guys that are competing in semi-final competition today. First of all, in the Philippines, Efren Reyes. What about Reyes? Well, they nicknamed him the Magician, and rightfully so. Uh, he's, in my opinion, is truly one of the great players of all times. He plays all the games well, he plays good under pressure, and he's got something to do here. He, the last two years at the tournament at the Riviera Hotel, he came in second to Johnny Archer and then Earl Strickland. So I know he wants to win this one. Tired of being a bridesmaid, wants to be a bride. What about his opponent, Mark Jarvis, Jimmy? Well, I was talking with Mark before the match. He's thrilled about playing Efren Reyes. He knows the road to the world championship goes through Efren Reyes. He's ready. All right, sounds like a great match. We thank you for joining us. We'll be back to check the rules after we find out about this. And while we get set for the break, we could check the rules that govern play here. First of all, the World 8-Ball Championship rules, Pro Express rules, race to eight. First man to win eight games wins it. 45 seconds in which to get your shot off. The winner then goes on to break. Two different balls are used on the break, and the breaker has the choice. No push-outs. Eight ball, not neutral. Eight ball on the break automatically wins that game or frame. You have to call the pocket that you're going to put the eight ball in to win it. Foul on all balls. The ball is in hand. Cue ball, that is. The referee has the final decision. And the final rules, three successive fouls, that's a loss of the game, and there's one time out per break. All right, there's the rack, and Efren Reyes, who is ranked number one, considered perhaps as good as any pool player in the world, no matter what the game, and especially so here at eight ball, will break first. And he is really at the top of his game. He won the last two out of three tournaments that we played in. So, I mean, he's playing the best he's ever played. And what an interesting guy, Jim Mattia and Jim Rempe. He came over and played first from his native Philippines and had a different name. Came in as Cesar Morales and was a big-time winner. And somebody finally said, I don't believe that's what's on your birth certificate. Huh? I met him in 1985. He came to Texas under the name of Cesar Morales. <laughs> Nobody had ever seen of him. No one had ever heard of him but he beat every top American player down there. It wasn't, wasn't long after that they said, hey, wait a minute, there is no Cesar Morales, right. his real name. But is by any Efren name, Reyes. he is still a great player. Jarvis, um, by virtue of no balls having been pocketed on the break, has the opening chance at a run. He's going for the striped balls. Jim Rempe, how's and, he doing? And he's playing very well, I'll tell you. I mean, he knows eight ball like the, as much as the as much as any of the other players and he's wound up in a good position here he's got the cue ball in the center of the table he can go either two different ways he can either shoot this ball which he's not going to he's going to shoot this ball this corner this side pocket to my uneducated eye he apparently has no problems has no pockets that he would want that are cluttered up the solids are up there in the far left hand corner but he's not concerned about that looks like the table is pretty well set up i think he might have wound up at an angle on this 12 ball so he's going to shoot the 11 ball first. He would have liked to have gotten straight in at the 12, but the, no problem here. He's got a nice pace. I mean, he's moving around the table nice. Fast and loose. Draw the cue ball back and play the 8 ball in the right-hand bottom pocket. It would not only be a very important win for him should he beat Reyes to advance to the finals, but it would be interesting because he would end up um, getting to play a guy who beat him in the competition that started this past week. Archer. Jeff Carter. Oh, excuse me, Carter. And he takes game number one. Well, let's see what ball he's going to hit here. Either the top ball. He's aiming at the second ball, I think. He's trying to make the eight ball on the side. Ball. Here's the eight he may have a chance. Side. Ooh. Boy, that was close, was it not? He, he got made one a, in the corner. He made a couple balls. Yeah. Looks to me like he's got strike balls. And no really easy shot. Might have the nine in the side pocket. 
Maybe we're just a little bit jaded, but um, after Carter made the eight ball twice on breaks, we expect it to go all the time. Well, he's shooting the 14 ball in the side pocket here and, and letting the cue ball go up straight up the table. He's playing position for this ball here. And did it beautifully. Well, undoubtedly, the uh, Jarvis was watching the previous match, Tom, <laughs> with Carter. And, uh, you know, when you see the ball flying towards the side like that, well, then you give it a chance. Huh? Yeah, why not? Jarvis trying to get an early advantage on Reyes. And from the way Reyes can play, you can't have too early or too big a lead. Yeah, he's playing the nine ball here in the corner pocket, bringing the cue ball back out here, trying to get position on this ball in the corner pocket. He's perfect on the shot. Stop the cue ball here or draw just a little bit. 13 in the side, then the eight in the corner pocket. He's looking to get straight in on the shot so he can just move the cue ball a couple inches. Jim Rempe's got it all mapped out. We'll see if Jarvis can follow the plan. Stop the cue ball right there. You want to put a little bit of an angle and uh, has to take a longer shot on the eight ball. The man you see walking around the table without the camera is Scott Smith. He's the referee and the man in charge of the match. More puck. Well, he's giving himself a tough shot on the eight ball. Boy. Called it up in the right-hand corner. If he misses this, is all lost? I would say so in this frame. And he made it. So Jarvis has taken a quick 2-0 lead advantage over Efren Reyes here in the semifinal competition. Play continues in this semifinal match, World 8 Ball Championship. Jarvis leading two games to none with the break. Made the nine in the side. He almost made the eight in the side, too. Oh, that's it. Is there an eight ball magnet over there in that side pocket? It seems to be flirting around over there with every break. Well, I tell you, there's two ways to break the balls, Tom. That's hitting the head ball or hitting the second ball. Now, if you really want to get action on the eight ball and get it, get it rolling, you got to hit the second ball. Perhaps sometimes you don't get as well of a, a break as hitting the head ball, but it gets the eight moving. Look at what he did here. He shot the wrong ball. He had a perfect opportunity and just gave it away. He shot the wrong ball. He made a strike ball on the break and shot a so solid ball for his second shot. He oh, did indeed. Major mistake. It is indeed. Now Reyes with the ball in hand can place it anywhere. I can't believe he did that. And Reyes is shooting the solid balls now. On a wide open table. No, it's not wide open. It's not wide open, Tom. He's got these two balls here that are tied up. Oh. And he's going to go for them. No, he's on the solid balls. Yes. He doesn't even have to bother with it. No. It looks wide open to me, but I've yeah. got a cameraman standing in front of me, but I... Well, he's got the one ball down the corner that he played position on. Let's see what Rowdy uses. Oh, that was a great shot. He'll just shoot this ball in the corner pocket playing position on this ball. You know, shooting the wrong ball there, Tom. <clears throat> that, uh, that reminds me of the, the guy from the Minnesota Vikings years ago that ran for a touchdown the wrong way. <laughs> That's right. Was the Jim Marshall? Wasn't he the guy? <laughs> yeah, I uh, believe so. They said him ran it the wrong way. Uh, Ro Floyd Regal did the same thing in a game up at Cal about 40 years prior to that. Yeah, it happens. He turned around. Draw the cue ball over the eight in the side. But how tough, you know. Reyes is so good, and you, you have him two games to none, and then you just throw a game away, in essence. Yeah. So, everybody makes mistakes. That's why they put erasers on pencils, certainly. Who knows better than I? 2-1 now. Jarvis leading, and Reyes gets a big opportunity and wastes little time in cashing in on it. Reyes now with the break. He hit the second ball, too, but he hit it from the opposite side of the rack. He's let Mark back into the table. And he's not no balls. All right. Gentlemen, um, at first glance, the Mark is now saying, what can I shoot? What, what am I entitled to go after? Let's not make the same mistake twice. What would you pick as you look at the table? 
Anything, well, he's going to go for the stripe balls because that's, I think that's his only shot. And the stripes are open except for the 13. He could cut the, fo the three ball in, but it's a tough shot. You're going to let the cue ball travel. Well, that's what he selected to do. That is going with the solids. Yes. He got one shot here. He can pocket the two ball in the corner pocket and play position on uh, either the one over to here with the cue ball. That's what he's going to do. He's going to shoot the two ball in the corner pocket, let the cue ball travel over in here for the one ball in the same pocket. He leads two games to one. Might have been up three zip, except for a mental lapse and a mistake, of course. Well, he's off and running. He's playing good, Tom. He, he feels uh, as though a lot of the, the credit goes to his good friend Mike Thomas. Was, uh, I don't know, I've been talking with him a lot lately and giving him a good attitude and good desire here to play and get up and try your heart out and dedicate yourself to the game of pocket billiards. It's the only way you can be a winner. What a great shot that was. He got position on the seven ball here to take care of that problem cluster. Boy, to the uneducated eye, namely mine, it looks as though you couldn't um, roll the ball through there, and yet uh, the seven is all set up. How about the five? Is that... You'll play the seven first? Well, the five is out in the clear. It has pockets to be pocketed in, but the four ball... It looks like he got perfect shape on the five. Yes, he did. I mean, he's even got a little bit of an angle to let the cue ball come up this way because, you know, he has to clear this ball or let the cue ball come through here and play this ball in the side pocket. And then, of course, stop it right there and put the eight. In the he's come too far. Mm. He's come too far. Now he's in big trouble. He has no shot at that, has he? None whatsoever. He's going to have to kick to the cushion here and just come back over and hit it, but there's no pocket here because the 11's in the way. There's nothing to do here but hit it and hope for a little luck, I think. Jimmy Matai, does he have any chance of playing safe? Of um, Really, I guess not, huh? No, not when an opponent has uh, six, seven balls on the table. To play safe to where Efren doesn't have a shot at any ball is almost impossible. Yeah. He's going the other way. He does have a pocket coming across the table this way. Oh, oh close. Oh, what a great effort. Oh, give him A for effort. And the crowd gives him a nice round of applause. What a well thought out, well executed shot. It just missed by a fraction of being perfect. Watch it again. A for it. effort oh, uh, and then take the chair. Yeah, because <laughs> you may not get back up again, at least in this game. Here's Reyes now looking to even the match at two games apiece. First one to eight wins it and moves to the title. To the championship go against uh, Carter. He'll most likely clear up here now. Balls are wide open. Played for the 14 ball in the side pocket. Jimmy, did you ever ask him why he came over as Cesar Morales rather than Efren? No, but I wish he would go back. And I don't care if it's as <laughs> Cesar or Efren. He has invaded America, Tom. I'm telling you what, uh, he's going to force me to come out of retirement. i got to give America some help. <laughs> you don't care what name he puts on the passport. Huh? <laughs> Let me tell you, he something else. <laughs> Reyes. 13 ball, 15 in the same pocket. And nothing left to do but position to make the 8 ball, and the he can game either, is even. He can either play for the 8 in the side or the corner. He has a lot of options here. I think he went for the side pocket. That's the one he calls. He's a pretty happy-go-lucky type of guy, uh, Mark Jarvis is, and uh, I'll tell you what, he, he's not, uh, he is not out of this match. I know the score is only 2-2, two to two, but I want to tell you something. He truthfully believes that he's going to beat Efren today, so we'll find out. Well, no balls. He gets to go to the table. You know, it's a bit of a rarity when we see a break and something doesn't fall. A 
rarity when we see a break and the eight ball doesn't go the way things have been going here in this semifinal competition. He has no easy shot to start with. He can cut this ball in the corner here, but it looks like a tough shot for me. He's cutting the six in the side pocket. Good shot. Let the cue ball loose a little bit. Let's see what happens. Mm. He's tied up the seven ball. The four is tied up. He's got a tough little rack here. He's rearranged the furniture here a little bit to where it's, uh, it's going to be rough for him to run this frame. He might do a little defense here. Well, he's, going, he's going all out. Yeah, and he got that cue ball away from those stripes, too, didn't he? <clears throat> yeah, you know, the balls are open up right now, except seven ball yeah. up here. Yeah. Is he looking to break that seven out, or can he make the seven? Maybe he can make the seven. I think he can make it. Well, if he can make the seven, then it's... Well, the eight is tied up also. Seven. Well, that seven is going to get a close look from Scott Smith, the, uh, the referee, if he tries it. That is... He's got a pocket, I think. Tell you the truth, Tom, I think he's plotting some strategy right here to like. where he perhaps will save... Uh, no, I was going to say he's maybe thinking about saving the one ball to the last and then banking the eight ball across sides. But he has a shot here right now to knock the eight out. So I'm sure he'll take that. But he is an excellent bank pool player. Matter of fact, I think he's a, a former two-time world champion in the art of bank He's going to make the one ball and knock the eight off from the cushion, try to play position in the Ooh. seven. No, he missed the eight ball. Just brushed it. No, he's in trouble. He still can make the seven. He can get position on the two, but the eight's going to wind up being a bank shot, I think. Jimmy Matthias says he's very good at it. Was that a good hit? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. So oh. says Scotty. Yes. Good hit, Scotty says. Almost. Of course, he heard me say it, and then he turned and nodded. Yeah. I think he got a little bit of an angle on this two ball to come into the eight ball. There's a lot of things he can do here. He's going to play position to bank this eight cross sides. No, he's not. He's going into the eight. Boom. Moved it a little bit. And now what? Now where do you play it, John? He's going to cut it across the, across the table to the corner pocket. Really a tough shot. I would think so. Real tough. And I'll tell you it's something else you might have to look out for is the scratch here with the cue ball. Depending upon how hard he hits it. He's going to hit this with low left-hand English. That's it, baby. Yeah. Yeah. What a shot. What a shot. What a way to win. That game, he takes a three-game to two-game lead. That masterfully done, gentlemen, huh? Oh, he great has, shot. He hasn't slowed his tempo up at all. I mean, he's really just getting down and hitting the ball. Yeah, he didn't really. No look, problem. I'm sure he looked it over and had it all set in his mind, but I mean, the shot he made was without any hesitation, no weight at all. Look at it again. And that is dead center perfect. I tell you, when you tell Mattia to get some information, he gets right to the heart of the matter. He opens up closet doors and everything. <laughs> Let's get to the cash. That's what the pool's all about. He's making its way to the side, but didn't get there. Oh, so close. I can't believe it, Jimmy, how mm. the eight has went to that side pocket so many times. It's been back and forth like it was on a string. It seems like if it doesn't go in, it's always hanging right by the side there. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Mm. So here's Reyes now. He's trailing three games to two. First one to eight. Yeah, he wants the solid the balls here. He wants the solid colored balls right here because you can see the 13 is tied up. He's playing the one ball. He's shooting the long one. And great position. He'll come right into this cluster here right now. He's got to move the four ball or play position on it. He's playing position on it. He's coming a little bit long, I think. Ooh. He's coming a little bit long. It's going to have to wait. Four ball's going to have to be well, set he, back in the agenda. He's got plenty of balls to play position yeah. on that ball with. Yeah. One thing I like about watching the Philippine players, Tom, is that the difference in style that they have compared to the American players. If you notice Efren's stroke, how wavy it is and how much wrist action he uses compared to the American players. Completely different type style. He has a very long bridge. 
always a deep ball of concentration as Efren May is. I think that's one of the things that makes him such a good player. He's really good at the concentration. Well, he got that good position, didn't he? Worked it around. He controls the cue ball as well as anybody I've ever seen. And the crowd responds with a hand round of applause. He's considered as good as anybody in the world and ranked number one in this uh, eight ball championship tournament. If Jarvis were to beat him, it would have, you know, to overstate the obvious, be a big, big item for Mark. But that's all but over now. Even this at three games apiece, I think I could make this. Mm -hmm. So the match remains tied now at three games apiece. Efren Reyes and Mark Jarvis. The Pro Billiard Store is coming to Southern California January 8th through 13th for the Commerce Casino Legends of Nine Ball Tournament. For ticket information, call 213-721-2100. Ball on the side, made a solid ball. Hit the seven ball, but not a second. The pocket at the seven ball, uh -huh. and the solids are pretty much wide open. Just getting position on the two ball would be the toughest part of this rack. Well, I think we've covered the, um, the item that uh, skill, talent, planning, and, of course, luck goes into almost any endeavor of this kind. you got to have a little of that, don't you? Well, when they asked me, hey, uh, well, Jimmy, what's, uh, what's it take to be a professional pool player and to be a champion? I said, it's very simple. It takes the eyes of an eagle, the touch of a surgeon, the heart of a lion. And what else, Jimmy? The three Ds, dedication, <laughs> determination, and desire. Okay. Can I sprinkle a little luck in there as well, Lance? Of course, Branch Ricky said that luck's the residue of hard work, so I know what you're talking about. It may look easy when you watch these uh, world-class competitors and players play, but uh, believe me, they've had a lot of balls and suffered their shares of agony and moments of despair, too. He's got a little bit bigger angle on this five ball than he wanted, uh, so the cue ball is going to come further down the table than he wants to. I mean, he wanted to get an angle just to play position on the two ball. He's going to hit this soft, I think. No, he got position on the two. Yeah. But he might shoot the three first, you know, because they go back up for the three because the eight is down table. He can't keep going back up and forth to the table. The you six is in down here, too, is it not? Isn't the six, the six is still down here, yeah. too, yeah. So he would probably take the three and then come back to get the two and then follow it down. And well, he can't get the right angle on the two by shooting the three, so he's going to have to uh, have to shoot the two ball. Hmm. Efren's a type of player that uh, you never really quite know what he's going to do. And I think that's why they call him the magician. Yeah. But it looks like he's going to take the six down. And he's going to have to find the right angle on the three to get down for the eight ball. I mean, he... Wouldn't he have been better off to try the three and forget it? Huh, and he, see could, he, he, huh? he could come up and hit the eight if he wants to shoot the six, come up with it and knock the eight out somewhere. But I don't think he'll do anything like that. That's taking too much of a chance. He could shoot the six and come back up this way and try to get... That's what he's doing. No, he tried to hit the eight ball, and he mm -hmm. missed the eight. He missed it, and he may not have a shot at the three. Gonna have to bank it if he does, doesn't he, gentlemen? Well, he's, yeah, he's gonna have to kick at the three ball. But they, even if he makes it, he won't have a shot on the eight ball. Oh. One thing Efren and all the Filipinos do is kick at the ball really well. They know the cushions. They play a lot of three cushions. They play uh, a lot of rotation in the Philippines. I mean, that's what the whole 15 balls run them in rotation. So they know the, the cushions very well. Well, he's got to make a, a shot worthy of his credentials here, or he's liable to leave the table wide open for Jarvis. Oh, he may get it. Oh, I thought he might get a kiss off that thing and still get it. <laughs> there really? he is a musician, huh? Oh, yeah. How close was that? It was very close, oh, believe boy. me. Now, how about Jarvis? Can he run it here now? If he can pocket the first ball, he should be off to the races to win in this game. So which one do you take as the first one? The easiest one. Well, <laughs> yeah, but which would that be, Jimmy? It would be the 15 in the side. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> 13 all, in the side. I'm all through setting you guys up. Forget it. The easiest one, of course. The one that I could make. All right. All right. Take the balls up table and then come down and take care of the bottom of the table. And the eight ball is down there. It would be a great place to finish now, wouldn't it? Right. 
you try to clear one section of the table at uh -huh. a time. Uh -huh. Now, seeing how the eight is down here by this end rail, well, then he'll leave those last stripes to where he doesn't have to move his cue ball around much. That's what can get you in trouble is when you got to move the cue ball around a lot. He's bumping balls, though. You can't mm -hmm. be doing that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I think he's left it. himself a tougher shot than he wanted. Now, here you'll probably see a safety. This is yeah, the this advantage, is safe. Tom. It looks to me like he's going to go this way, Jim. Hit the 10 ball, bring the cue ball over in here, and then back over in here. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. This is a big advantage, Tom, what I was telling about earlier. When, when you have four or five balls on a table and your opponent's only got one, if you do happen to miss your position, you have uh, so many ways to play safe. You he know. went for the shot. Yes, yeah, he well, did. He I tried would've... to cut it in the corner. And he did. Oh, oh, he Oh, <laughs> Great shot. Oh. Oh. I didn't expect that. Of course, he left Efren with a long bank on a three ball, even if he missed it. But uh, Yeah, but, you know, Reyes can make a long bank yeah, on exactly. a three ball. Exactly. He gave him right. a chance to win wow. by missing that ball. But yeah. he made it, and everything's okay. So the pocket's a little generous here. You're going to see it hit the cushion mm -hmm. and float in. I didn't think he had hit it hard enough to get it there or cut it enough to get it there. What a great shot. He gambled and got away with yes, it. Yes, he did. No, I would have played a safety on that shot. Wouldn't so you, would I. Yeah. There was no question about a safety there. I think he surprised everybody in the room. Maybe himself, too. Easy. Is that a routine cut shot in the corner? Yeah, yes. a little thin to win, that's all. See, I kind of panic over things like that. You guys take it as just in stride. Well, Jarvis uh, played the magnificent uh, match. A magnificent game there. He got away with one in the corner, and he takes a lead of four games to three now. So play continues in this semifinal competition, eight ball world championship. Mark Jarvis leading four games to three with the break. Ooh, Ooh the ten ball wobbled. Boy, didn't it. And the two went in. Yep. So the two ball is in. He'll be uh, shooting the uh, solids. He, the, he's only got one shot here, I think, is the three down the corner pocket, which is a really tough shot. And positional position after this shot is a tough shot, too. He's counting the balls, making sure. <laughs> yeah. In case you joined us late, why he <laughs> had the break, had a ball made, it was a stripe, and he started to shoot the solids, and bingo. That was that. Cue ball in hand for Reyes, and he ran the table on him. Mark's made up his mind that win or lose today, he's going to have a good time. I mean, he's been smiling the whole match, concentrating, of course, but he's having a good time, and uh, that's what it's all about. Hey, you know, winning's not everything. Have a good time at what you're doing. Reyes sits there, stoic-faced. Shoot the one ball in the corner here. He's got a soldier here. One ball's going to go in the corner here like that. He's got a soldier. In other words, even if he hits the cushion here, it's going to carry him off the ten ball and go in the corner pocket. And that's what happened to him. Oh, well called, but he, but he, made a, he made a great shot here because I think he has position on the five ball in the side pocket. That opens up everything. If this five goes in the side pocket, it opens up everything. Rempe may never have jumped into a pool to see if his suit was a wash and wear, but he certainly knows this game. What a good call. Jarvis trying to win game number five. First one to eight. Moves into the finals. Go against Jeff Carter. Won a semifinal match convincingly in a previous program. Mm. What uh, do you do with that set? Oh, he's gonna, well, he's play the four, huh? But he's got to go up the table. He could shoot this in a... He's got an angle on the four ball that make it go up the table this way. He could elect to shoot this ball in the, in the corner pocket and just bounce the cue ball back over here. Wouldn't that be the better... Uh, I think that's the better shot. Yeah, well, it's a position on the seven, wouldn't it? It's a natural shot. All you have to do is put the cue ball anywhere over in here. Mm -hmm. In other words, just shoot this ball, corner pocket, cue ball bounces here and over to here. Well done. Did he get it back? Yes. Watch the 14. Yeah. He's, he's, he's got perfect. Perfect. He's all right? Absolutely perfect he hit that ball. Come back for the eight in the side pocket. And the crowd, you know, I'm sure they realize Jarvis uh, comparing the two men as an underdog here, and they've really taken him as, as kind of their, uh, the guy they want. They cheer every move he makes. <laughs> and the moves he's made so far, with one exception, have been sensational. Five games to three now, and you see him with the cue stick raised <laughs> in jubilation. He's uh, playing very, very well, and would love nothing better than to beat Reyes, who's among the world's very best. 
Back to semifinal action. Jarvis leading five games to three with the break. Got a stripe. The side pocket. Look at him look in. Oh. Make sure. <laughs> did you ever do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think we've all did it at one time or another. Shot the wrong ball. Well, he's got a wide open table here. I think his only shot is uh, the nine in the side. If he can make that one, I mean, the rest uh, is wide open. He's leading five games to three against a man considered to be as good a player as there is in the world. And number one, almost that, got a yeah. pair of them and had to use a little body English to get that thing in the side pocket. Oh, no. Ooh, and well, a little yeah. more to keep him from a scratch. I think you're the one with the body English up here, Tom. Uh... This guy has got more moves than a monkey with a new rope. He's keep, huh? He's got him going in. Boy, you're Wall him and in Holler and Homer. And how much you got bet on Jarvis on this game here? <laughs> Too late to get a bob now. He wants it a little bit further. He didn't get where he wanted to get. Uh, I don't know if he wanted to put a shot. He could cut this ball in the side pocket and let the cue ball travel. And Jimmy, obviously, if he cuts that ball in the side pocket, the cue ball's going to travel, don't you think? Well, it travel oh. a long way. Well, I mean, <laughs> the secret to pool, you don't. You want to move the cue balls least amount of space as you possibly can. Don't tell me your secrets, okay? I'll hang with my own. 30 if you don't mind. 25 years, you haven't picked up one yet, so I'm, I'm not worried about that no longer. <laughs> it's like they're round. They're supposed to roll, right? That's right. He's not playing the best position, but he keeps getting out. No, no, he's playing very reckless, but he keeps making shot after shot, difficult shots. He Again, wasn't that far away from great position, though, was he? No, he wasn't. Just another two or three inches on that mm -hmm. round ball on that slick table. Oh. Uh-oh. Tell you what, if he would have made that, he was in good shape to win this game. Yeah. Well, he's now um, left the table. Crowd gives him a round of applause for... A good try, and here's Reyes now, Efren Reyes, looking him back into this competition, trailing five games to three. And you don't give him much of an opening because he'll run right through it. Well, I think Mark fe feels that if he's going to beat Efren Reyes, he's really got to get out there and go for the shots and take some gambles, and he's been doing that, and it's been paying off for him pretty good. But you also got to remember, hey, you got to use your head. Good strategy. You can't get out there and play recklessly having a cue ball flying all over the place. And I think Jimmy will tell you cue that. Cue balls don't fly, Jim. Well, I've had a few <laughs> fly out the window, I want to tell you that. <laughs> a few sticks go out the window, too. Straight in on the three ball, shoot the one in the opposite corner pocket, and play the eight in the same pocket that he's going to pocket the one ball in. He can draw this back and play the one ball in the same pocket, too. Nope. Let me go across the table with it, I guess. Yeah, and just pocket this, bounce off the bottom cushion, and up for the eight in the same pocket. about a foot down table farther than he wanted to. Yeah, but a routine little cut it no, thin and win. Is is not, no, this is not routine. Well, it is when you're up in Reyes. Can you retire? No, okay. <laughs> so it's five games to four now. Jarvis leading five games to four. Reyes on the break. He went for the top ball that time. Rather than taking a chance of making the eight ball, he figures he can make clearance. He's better than he can make the eight ball on the break. It's not a bad Bad choice. We're at the Riviera Hotel and Casino here in Las Vegas. Jim Mattia, Jim Rempe, yours truly Tom Kelly. You're watching semi-final competition in the World 8-Ball Championship Tournament. All right, he's taking the stripe balls, pocketing the 10-ball in the side pocket. Let's see where the rest of these balls wind up now. He broke them all up in one shot. What a shot. He used his telestrator. 
No, it's not. You'd probably shoot this ball, corner pocket. Is that the eight ball against the rail down at the bottom? He got bad on yeah. this shot. Yeah, that's the eight ball down there, but he got bad. He wanted to get straight in on the nine, and he, he wound up with a big angle. Well, he's going to have to move that five out of there in order to get a shot at that eight, is he not? No. No? No, it clears. Providing he gets to that. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I don't know that he's left that much, has he? No, he hasn't, because uh, the way the balls are clustered up there, if you take a look at the two ball, which is the blue ball, and you take a look at the orange ball, which is the five, Jarvis has problems here. We haven't seen a defensive game yet. It's, uh, it's about time one of them showed up, where they start playing uh, a lot of safety play. Oh, you're right. They have been wide open in the first semifinal. <coughs> The eight ball twice and the break. And nobody has really played uh, much of a defensive game at all. They had to. This is going to be one of those games. There's no way that uh, Mark would try to run out here because, like Jimmy said, the, like Jimmy said, the two balls tied up. The last time we said that about Jarvis, though, he made a cut shot instead of playing safe, knocked it in the corner. Yeah, you see, the two ball here is going to create a big problem because there's. Well, I mean, the five does pass. But he's going to shoot it now. If he shoots it now, then he can't. He, he won't won't have another ball to get back to the two ball to break it out of there. <coughs> but there's really no safety anyway where he can leave the effort in a spot where he will create a kind of shot. Said the seven up in the corner. He's looking at is he. Um He's got a perfect place to play safety if they leave this on like this. If he shoots the seven ball and comes two cushions with the cue ball and just puts him behind this ball, play a safety and bring this ball down, this ball that's over here, bring this ball down somewhere to use to get the two ball out of there. Jarvis leads five games to four. Took the seven, brought the cue ball back. He's going for the clearance and he doesn't, doesn't have any ball to uh, get the two ball out of there with. He tried to get it out there, didn't he? No, I'm not sure what he tried to do. But it's not out of there. He's no. going to play a safety here. There's no question about that. Hmm. Is that good? I think you have a chance to see a heck of a shot coming up here. And that would be the old mass say. The old mass say. I mean, he's going to turn this ball. He is going to put some hot mustard on this one. The magician at work, huh? Well, he might do that. He can see the 15 on the cushion, but even though there's a almost an impossible shot there, I mean, the other one's almost impossible also. But uh, Jimmy, if he tries it, where does he hit that uh, cue ball? As far as what kind of a shot, a mass safe shot. shot that a mass safe shot. To bring shots. it around that two and hit the 15. You have to elevate the butt of your cue almost straight up and down, and he would probably have to hit it. Say if you were looking at it as if it were a clock, he'd have to hit it at about seven o'clock. Well, he obviously was not going to do it, but I don't know that he. Well, actually, that turned out very well for him because yes. the 11's in front of the pocket yeah. and he left them separated on the table there. Uh, See, because Mark's two ball is still tied up. It still is up against the rail down here next to the eight. Well, it does pass, though. It does it go to the left. It will pass the eight ball? No, not the eight oh, ball, I but see. the 11 ball. Yes, all right. If I was him, I'd go see. for position on the two ball right now, wouldn't you? Jim? He needs to get the cue ball here. I would do it as fast as possible. Always get rid of your tribal balls as soon as you can. So he's got to get the cue ball in this area here to pocket the two ball in here. And he's got a perfect shot with it with the one ball. If he does it with the yellow ball, the one ball, yeah. Spin the cue ball around the table. This is his chance to get this. Missed the shot. Oh, he got lucky. 
Ortega oh. casting it. Oh, he didn't get lucky there, though. No, he didn't. That was a bad roll, the dice there. You know, that eight ball could have come off the other way and been where the cue ball is. He could have been wide open with that, too. Huh? He could have scratched also. There was yes, that's A lot right. of things could have happened there. Yeah. Well, he's got to come with something now. Yep. He's got one shot. He's going to have to pocket this ball and just let the cue ball float down and try to come straight down here and just try to come in here, knock the eight, come in between the balls, something like that. Where's he put it? In the upper left-hand corner? Yeah. Reyes this is an extremely on. tough shot, but that's his only shot. He's got to go for the win here because there's no safety. This could be the shot that would win him the uh, semifinal match. Well, he's got that, but oh, my. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. He's, be, he's in bad shape here. He's in bad, real bad shape. Now, he's stopping everywhere, isn't he? What about just locking that stripe right up next to the two, Jimmy? I realize you'd give effort ball in hand, but what else could you do in a spot like this? That's a good choice, Jim. Uh, well, if you put it right up against the two, all he could make... He couldn't make that ball. Well, Efren huh? would have ball in hand. Yeah, yeah but I mean, where would he go? He, so could, he could make one. He could pocket the 11 and break them out. It? But oh, then again, could? who knows where the ball is going to yeah. go when he does break it out. He might not get a shot. So if I was Jarvis right now, I would nudge the yeah. uh, stripe it, right up against yeah. the two ball. It seems a good strategy. And put the two right close to the eight. Yeah. It's a game of percentages, and that's what he's doing. He's giving himself the best percentage. Well, oh, no, he, he didn't. could hit it. He could hit it. Oh. Well, that wasn't bad either. No. No, in fact, he may have... Now he's got... Um, Reyes forced him. He can't get out from yeah, Reyes can two. see the 15. Can he? Yeah, he can make the 15. He's All just right. going to go three cushions with the cue ball. Three cushions with the cue ball. Back for the 11. And he comes back and gets the 11. He's got the eight ball all set up in the corner down there. That's perfect. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's what you call close position. Isn't it? Reyes kind of gave you a little thought of what he thought about it, too, and he kind of stuck his tongue out at it. Shooting opposite handed now. Shoots very well opposite handed. Yeah, and the eight ball in the corner. Good speed control on that shot. Oh, what a tough game. And what a tough match this is. Reyes pulls it out, and now we're tied at five apiece. All right, the match is tied at five games apiece. Here's Reyes with the break. First to eight, gets it. moves into the championship round. Two balls gonna go to. Mm-hmm. Two balls in a bad position. I mean, he's got. What did he make there? He made uh, two solids and one strike. He has choice then. You know, Jimmy Mattia, he did, really didn't hit that bad a shot. He just got, got a little bit unlucky. He didn't put the, uh, the stripe down against the two and lock it all up. But he did hit the two, and it just it kicked off the eight, and the cue ball came back out and gave him a shot. Another half an inch, and he wouldn't be able to make the 15 ball. I don't believe he made a, a straight on the break. I think he made two solids, and yeah. that's it. Yeah. yeah. It was close, but then things always are, aren't they? Here comes some defense. Yeah. This will be a game of cat and mouse here, Tom. Uh, both players know that if they go for a run out here, it's, it's <laughs> awfully difficult. And like I say, if you start knocking your balls off the table, you're giving the other player a big advantage if you don't go all the way. Does he still have choice? No, he's got, no, the, he's stripes. got the stripes. He's got the stripes. Yeah, there's two solids gone. The race. Well, he can make the one, the 11 ball in here for an opening shot. Yeah. Or he can make the nine ball in here. See, but these, you leave this 14 and 10 ball tied up and not a ball to get to it later on. You don't want to shoot that shot yet. That's, the 11 ball is a perfect ball to break out the. This ball here is a perfect ball to break out these two balls later on, so that's why he's shooting the nine ball first. I'll tell you, a perfect shot from there, Jimmy, would have been just Ooh. to go right into the, the nine 14 go. ball. Go right into the 14 ball and sandwiched his cue ball up against the five and the eight. Now, there's my daughter, Nicole. She's 10 years old. She lives down there in North Carolina with her mother, Ava. I'd like to say hello to her, too. Can she play pool a little bit, Nicole? She plays a little bit. Not bad at all. Was that a good play by Jarvis? Well, if we could have went back to the first shot, Barry. Like I said, Jimmy, if he, he could have broke the 14 and the 10 and sandwiched the cue ball up against the 5 and the 8. Now, he wasn't going to make a ball there, but no. he, would left, uh, he would have broken the balls out. At the same time, he would have left Efren no shot. That's what I would have done there. I would have broke those balls immediately 
froze the cue ball against the five and the eight. Well, now all the balls are wide open. Yes. And, uh, and, but uh, Efren doesn't have a shot, so, I mean, he's going to have to play safe of some kind here. Well, that's what uh, Jarvis, of course, is hoping for. That Reyes can't make one, has to play safe, and leaves the table for him. Look at this. Look at this. No, he's Ooh. left him a shot. Yeah, he's left yes. him a couple shots. Yeah. Ten ball for one. Well, they're tied at five games apiece. First man to get to eight moves into the finals of the World Eight Ball Championship. This is Mark Jarvis. Okay, here's the pattern that he got to play with right now. Make the 11 ball. Bring the cue ball up this way for the 15 ball. Hmm. Have to go into them balls, but that's okay too. There's so many different ways to play this. I mean, uh, well, you know he's going to shoot the nine ball probably right now. Get rid of the nine. <coughs> that's what makes the game of eight balls such an interesting game. Everybody's got their own idea yeah. how to run these balls off the table, all the way from the beginners to the amateurs to yeah. the top pros. You had to mention the amateurs in there to include me in the conversation, did you? Uh, oh, we're not quite sure where you were at on the uh, pool table, though, Tom. There's always one thing for sure, though, is to leave a key ball to get back to the eight ball. Ooh. Oh, man, that was straight in. Tom. Oh, boy. Uh-oh, the wheels are starting to come off. Tied at five and... Man with five games. Reyes. This isn't that easy. He's going two cushions with this shot around play position on the five ball. He wants to get on the five ball. Perfect. Beautifully done. Man from the Philippines. I don't know if he hit this hard enough. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. He's laughing about it too. He knows he made a foolish mistake there. <laughs> <laughs> Efren is the kind of guy. That when he he rarely makes a mistake, but when he does, he will chuckle to himself. I mean, he he really believes that he as good as he plays it, he should never make a mistake. And when he does, he just has to laugh about it. He, Can he, he cut this in? No, he banged in the shot. And he made it. Oh, oh look at that thing hang there! Oh, look at the position he had. He oh boy! And the crowd, get, look at that four ball hang there, and the eight ball would have been dead in the corner pocket across the way. This Unbelievable. Perfect opportunity for Mark, though, to go ahead. Remember, we're tied at five games each. Beautiful, but, oh. Yeah. One in the corner and then the one in the side or what? This could be a left-handed shot. No, he's going to stretch. He's got the cue underneath his body. He drew it really far. Mm. Look at what he did here. Where he's do you play this shot? shot? Top right-hand corner pocket playing the ball up here. Mm -hmm. He has absolutely Touched. butchered this frame, Jimmy, in the last oh. three balls here. But, uh, He's still at the table. Well, if he misses this one, he can kiss this game goodbye. He's made it. Eight ball in the right-hand corner pocket. Take a 6-5 game lead. Beautifully done. I tell you, that was not easy. For either one of these two men, and Reyes made more of the costly mistakes in that one than did Jarvis. The Pro Billiard Store is coming to Southern California January 8th through 13th for the Commerce Casino Legends of Nine Ball Tournament. For ticket information, call 213-721-2100. Referee Scott Smith finishes the rack. Here's Mark Jarvis leading six games to five. First to eight wins it. 
He's made a couple balls here. Another ball. He's a choice. Wow, they're really wide open this time. Sure are. I like. Which ones do you like, Jim? Ah, uh, she's. Uh, I just Either like, one. I just like to be at the table right now. It, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Jimmy Mattia, <laughs> sick and tired of this microphone and idle conversation. Give me that stick. Somebody throw a little money on the end of the table and let's get after it. Boy, this would be a big uh, rack to oh, win, wouldn't they're it? They're all in the middle of the table. All you got to do is connect the dots right now. <laughs> now you watch, watch how he doesn't move the cue ball around much here, uh, Tom. He won't move around very much at all. He'll just pick them off one at a time. Cue ball not going too far. That eight ball is set right in the middle, too, when he gets it done with that. Yeah. The last two solids out there. Huh? Five in the side, two in the, the opposite side. Yeah. And then the eight. Or two in the corner, whatever you want. And, you know, for the... Novices out there, myself included, I noticed he looked down to check that eight ball over in that pocket right there to see if that it was clear, didn't he? Yeah. He wanted to see if it would pass the yeah. nine ball. You got to be a shot or two ahead of yourself, no matter. Oh, yeah. Oops. No, he's oh, okay. That's where he wanted he, it. Yeah. Okay. Up in the left hand corner to take a two game advantage. Wow. You know, Jarvis doesn't waste any time, guys. He just bangs him around when he gets an opening. Scotty puts that card on the table and. Uh, Mark doesn't even give him a chance to get out of the way before he's shooting the last ball. Well, it's seven to five. And so this semifinal match comes down now to where Mark Jarvis, leading seven games to five, has the break. If he can run this rack while he has moved to the championship, gets a uh, striper. He's made two stripes. Two stripes, and they're wide open. The well, is, um, excuse me. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead, Jimmy. I know what the right ball is here to shoot. Let me see if I do. I can't see him. Well, does Mark know the uh, right one to well, shoot? Well, I don't know. I guess he does. He's, been, he's still on the winner's side. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can go any which way, I guess. I, he played for the 13 ball next. Eight ball right in the middle of the table. He runs this table why he will uh, have won the eighth game and defeated Efren Reyes, considered among the best in the world. What a win this would be for Jarvis. Problem. He's a problem now. He, he's got the... Yeah, he's, he's got to shot. shoot the, the 14 ball with, with right hand spin on the cue ball to come straight back this way for the 15. Yeah, but can he reach it, Jimmy? Yeah, he can get there. He's okay. Well, Ooh, no, he isn't. But now, can he get between the eight and the six? Looks like he's got an opening. He's got to go down here, for this ball here. It looks like it passes from this angle. Yeah. And if he can, he can either bounce the cue ball back off of the side pocket, or the corner pocket, or the other side pocket. The biggest shot of the uh, tournament for him, of course, and he missed it. That was a bad mistake there, that Jarvis. He could have ended that match, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. He should have ended it. Should have. I think it was because of his ball selection earlier on before he started, to, you know, making balls. He should have thought they'd get rack out a little bit better and, uh, and left some key balls to get back for the eight ball. Well, he's left Reyes a chance to run the table now and to narrow the gap again. Remember, he led seven games to five. This will make it 7-6 unless Reyes comes up with a classic boner. No, I don't think so. I don't either. It's tough enough to beat a guy like Reyes, and when you do get him on the ropes to let him go like this, now it's going to be even more difficult. He might never even come back to the table. Well, you know, you're right. I just noticed that. That cue of his looks like it's crooked. It got waves in it the way it, huh? Yeah, it's a very, very <laughs> wavy that? stroke. Very wavy stroke. Football. Long bridge. If you were a golfer, you'd think he was catching it between his lunge and his sway, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, this game's all over except for the cheering, huh? Yeah, one the side, eight in the opposite side. Yeah. As the tension mounts, 
Indeed. Going with the 7-6. Se mm -hmm. Now, it was obvious he was going to make the ball or try to make it in that side pocket. Must he call it? Yeah, he must call the 8 into the pocket. So it becomes a 7-6 game. Clustered all around. I would like to see uh, Eflin go ahead and shoot in this spot. If I were Martin Jarvis, I wouldn't start to run balls off here. Very dangerous. Well, Jarvis leads seven games to six. Running this rack would give him uh, an advancement into the championship of the World Eight Ball. But a mistake would quite easily even it up at seven seven. I'd well, like to mention here what, uh, before you get started here with this game, Jimmy, that we're playing on an AMF tape. Uh, how much did you say this table cost, Tom? $56,000. Three of them in existence. One is over at the Lion's Den here in Las Vegas, and they'll be happy to make one for you, but it takes about six months. It's uh, mahogany, and it is from Honduras, and hand-carved, and... I like to thank another uh, sponsor of the tour, I mean, who really promotes the pro tour, is the Miucci Originals, who makes one of the finest cues in the world. You can see his banners up around the arena here. Mm -hmm. All right. A cue says, that even I could use? It's Rumpy? make anybody play good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Guaranteed. Get me a couple of them, one for the trunk and... What is he on here? He's on the, the stripe balls? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stripes is correct. Well, there's going to be some defensive moves put in here because uh, right now yeah, there's no shot. So, you know, he's playing a safety here. But, you know, every time he's done that, it's come up wrong for him. Well, he tried to make that ball, but yes. if, he, if he made it, uh, well, who knows? Now Reyes, trailing seven games to six. When you don't get a good opening break in the game of eight ball, then the game becomes a very confusing situation. He's I'm, played a safe up to six ball. Whether you have stripes or solids, this is where we go into safety play. You're not worried right now to let your opponent back to the table because everything is so clustered up. Mm -hmm. For the people that aren't aware of what a legitimate safety is, that when the person hits the cue ball, he has to strike a ball and drive that ball to a cushion, or the cue ball has to hit a cushion after contact with an object ball. That's a legitimate safety or a shot. And if he doesn't, why then it's cue ball in hand, and anywhere the opponent the can put it anywhere in the table he wants. Huh? Exactly. He's going for a tough one here. Good oh, shot. Amen. Did he open him up enough? Uh, well, he's got a shot in the corner pocket here in the 14 ball. Okay, let's see what he's got here. Looks to me like he's going to shoot the 14 ball and play position on the 15 ball for his next shot. Yeah, so he's going to shoot this ball down here. He played long position on this 15 ball, and he's going to have to... I don't know if this ball passes or not. If it doesn't pass, then he's going to have to roll the cue ball down in here after making the 15 ball for this ball in the corner pocket. Jimmy, you know as well as I do the the pool gods are watching right now. They're going to send this game into sudden death one game. Yeah. You know it and so do I. The pool gods are always up there watching, Tom. They want to torture you as much as they can. <laughs> well, here's a shot. Now, here, this is a good shot here. <laughs> Matai, I love you. You mean to say Jarvis can't run this rack? And well, yes, thing? he can. He can, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Well, if he makes this ball and use a lot of Left hand spin on this shot. He, he got a shot. He's got a heck of a shot to make here, though. Oh, boy. He makes this shot, Tom. He wins the match because the position is going to be a natural. Well, not necessarily, Jim. The seven's in the way. See, if he shoots this ball on the cor down the corner pocket, the cue ball's going to go back here. He has to go at this angle below the seven. If he does that, he's coming back over here because he can't hit it soft enough, and then he's coming down in here. Well, how good do you have to be just to catch ball and... You see the angle? Oh, see where it's coming now? Oh, 
And that's what could have happened even if he made the ball. Mm. That's the pool, guys. They're up yeah, there they watching. Are. What do they care about the pain and the frustration, huh? <laughs> what do they care? That's two games in a row, Jimmy, that Jarvis has had a chance yeah. to slam the door on mm. Efren. You Efren runs this rack now. He'll be uh, tied at seven games apiece as you look at uh, young Mr. Mark Jarvis. Looks like Efren's just waiting for Mark to make a mistake, and then he just takes over. He's given Mark plenty of opportunities, I know that. He's going to leave the four ball for his key ball. He's going to play the one ball, the six ball, seven. then the seven, then the four. A lot of times you have to think backwards in, in playing eight ball. You think where the eight is, what ball you need to get to the eight ball, what ball you need to get to that ball to get to the eight ball, and so on down the line. So here he's going to use the four for the last shot, and it's a natural position for the eight. And we're going to a hill hill game. Mm. Boy, you make a mistake, and you sure end up paying for it, don't you? And you got to like the breaker in the next game. Is that the rule of thumb? Always. Yeah. Give control to the guy that has control. Well, it's tied at seven games apiece. There's Jarvis. The break will go to Reyes. Well, it's been a great match so far. And the crowd carrying both of these competitors on. Urged on a little bit by Scott Smith, the referee. That's a good shot of Don Mackey, our commissioner of the pool. And there's uh, C.J. Wiley and his lovely wife, Angela, from Dallas, Texas. Yeah, this is what it's all about. This is what the crowd loves, <laughs> and we do, too. How do the golf gods like it? <laughs> <laughs> The pool guys? Oh, excuse me. The pool guys. I don't know too much guys. about the golf guys. I don't have problems with nothing, them. I can I tell do. you that. Nothing on the break. Oh. Here's another opportunity. You know, this will be his last opportunity. Reyes has that. done that a lot. I mean, um, had the break and, and didn't get anything. Yep. But this is going to be Mark's last opportunity because you know he's going to go for a clearance. And if he fails to get out again, well, this makes it easy for Efren. He's well, selecting the solid yeah. color balls. Pressure is really mounting on him right now. He's never been in this situation, and this is an extreme situation being tied 7-7. He's got a tough shot already. He's got to cut the four down the corner. It's not a tough shot, but he's a little bit out of line. He's perfect there, Jimmy. He can come right across the table for the five if he wanted to. And he's got the six, anyway. He's got the five. And now he's gone. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he has destroyed himself this match, Jimmy. Yeah. He's just not thinking all the way through the rack. I mean, he's, he's just shooting shots, it looks like to me. Why didn't he take the six ball instead of the five? Wouldn't that have been a little better thing to play position with? Well, he, he should have... Yeah, he should have... He should have shot the four ball and came on the other side of the ten ball. Do you remember when the four was over here? Well, if he shot the four and let the cue ball come on this side for the five ball, then he's straight in on the six ball. Then he can do whatever he wants with these two balls. Hmm. But what happened, he wound up with an angle, and he, he came over where the cue ball is right now. And, and now there's an, no shot. No. I mean, uh, unless he's... Unless he could bank the three ball. Can he cut it back across? I don't think he can cut this ball. Gonna try. Oh, look at this shot. Oh, yeah. this shot. <laughs> How about one for the announcer? How about one for the announcer? Right. Huh? You're one and Jimmy's up. Well, okay, I'm gonna. Jimmy was up two. Okay, he's up two. No, that was a half. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? But he's shot. still, but he's still in trouble. No oh, shot again. Yeah, but I mean, after making that, come on. Boy, how about an attaboy? Did he have a grin on his face when he made that? And now he's right back and 
trouble again. How much time does he have left in that 40 seconds, 45 second shot clock? <laughs> I don't know. But it's the pool, guys. I'm telling you. You know, he might be able to cut the. He, you know, I think he can cut this ball in the corner pocket. I think this ball passes here. Mm. I think he can cut this ball in the corner pocket. Well, after making that last shot, I think he could probably make this ball anywhere. I mean, that was a tremendous shot. It was a good shot. Wasn't it's it? too bad that he didn't get any kind of a reward for it because yeah. he's, he's he's faced again. I don't well, he's still playing. I think he's going for a bank shot. Bank shot. But he didn't give himself, he didn't leave anything with the six ball, did he? That's Nothing. the pool gods. They're, I'm telling you, when it gets down to when they are both need one shot. game. Look at this shot. And still no reward. He has made no, he's got What shot has he got on that six ball? He's well, got he's got nothing. one shot in this what? corner pocket right there. Are you kidding? He's, he's made every, have... look at Reyes, look. He's, he's gotta... made every imaginable shot and some that no one can think about. Yeah, he's going to shoot the cue ball down here, cut this ball into this oh, corner pocket. On. The cue ball is going to float this way, this way. Anything can happen. I mean, he's going to wind up come, come up in here somewhere. He but that's the shot. He's made more big-time pressure shots in the last minute and a half than he's made in his entire pro well, career. This is the one with all the pressure. This oh, is the winning boy. shot. He didn't make this one. Now, see the good position he had on the eight there? Well, he's getting a big round of applause, Mark Jarvis is, for a... A gallant battle and a unbelievable try, but he has left one of the best players in the world. Uh, An easy wreck. Yeah. And a win into the championship of the World 8-Ball. Anything can happen, though. Nothing's, I mean, easy. You just can't throw him in and give him the putt or other. You just have to just uh, wait to see what happens. I mean, a ball could skid on him. Or anything can happen. Oh, I'm sure the pool gods know that Efren is looking at an easy rack right now. I'm sure they'll do whatever they can to make things difficult for him. Oh, they went out to have dinner. They never sleep. The pool gods went out to have an early <laughs> supper. Come on, Jimmy. I, I don't know. Huh? No. It ain't over till the fat mama sings. Golf gods are the ones that never sleep. Pool gods walk away. They've had enough. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. I'd what a you. great run Jarvis made. And yeah. he just... And to not get any oh. kind of a shot yeah. to where he could do something with that six ball, that's just a shame. Yeah. But that's the game of pool. And when you think of the great, almost unbelievable, impossible shots he made to get to that one spot and then come up dead empty. He's going to play position for the 14 ball and use the 12 to get to the 8. Reyes just uh, down seven games to five, has come back now, leveled it at seven and now... He's but uh, two shots away from moving on to the eight ball championship against Jeff Carter. Mark is going to be sick after this play. Yeah, there he is. That's too bad. That's fortunate. Somebody always has to win. Somebody has to lose. There it is. Reyes comes from 7 5 down to win it at 8 7. Unbelievable semifinal match right down eight games to seven. I'm Tom Kelly with Jimmy Matai and, of course, Efren Reyes, who won it, and Mark Jarvis, who came so close. What a great battle you two guys put up. How do you feel? Uh, there's a point of diminishing returns as far as how excited I am, but I'm feeling pretty good about the way I played. Uh, uh, when you play a guy like him, it's, uh, it's, if you make one mistake, you pay for it, and it showed up right there. You know, I got out of line a few times, and, uh, and, it, pay, and it cost me. Well, Jimmy Mattia was saying that you made maybe three, at least three, unbelievable shots at the end of that match, and yet he got nothing for it, Jimmy, did he? Well, as I mentioned to you earlier, Tom, the gambling uh, gods, oh, the pool the gods. gods up there, you know, <laughs> when you make good shots, you get punished for it sometimes. Jarvis made three spectacular shots, got no reward for it. Efren, you were a magnificent uh, pool player. You're one of the best in the world, of course. How did you feel about the match? Well, I feel I lost already because when I, he had me 8-5, to five, <laughs> I 7-5, to five, right? He had you 7-5, uh, seven seven yeah. 7-5, man. I thought I'm not going to shoot no more. And, uh, well, I get lucky and then you miss. You, know, you can't give this guy a chance, though, can you? No, absolutely not. It cost me. Yeah, it cost you. Yeah, it cost me. 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 Yeah, it
but yeah. I'll get you next time. I tell you, you've got a great attitude about it. Jimmy's into the finals now, and he goes against Carter. What kind of a match will it be, do you think? I look for a good match there. Same with the match with Jarvis. Carter's playing good all week. He's confident, and as lucky as Efren is right now, he should be downstairs shooting dice. What a way to talk about one of the all-time great pool players in the world to call him lucky. Now we're getting back to talent, skill, strategy, and you've always got to have a little luck, don't you? Absolutely. And the, uh, the pool guys kind of deserted you in the luck department. Well, that's okay. I've got my wife and kids at home. I'm going to go home and celebrate my victory as that's far wonderful. as... wonderful. Efren, congratulations. We look forward to watching you in the championship eight-ball world uh, match in against Carter. We wish you the very best. Well, thank you. All right, and we'll be back with that for you. What a great championship match we should have. That's Reyes against Carter. For Jimmy and Jimmy, I'm Tom Kelly, and we'll see you soon from the Riviera Hotel and Casino here in Las Vegas. Brought to you by Mayuchi Originals, custom choice of more top players than any other cue, and AMF Playmaster, bringing quality to the table.